Welcome back to another lecture. This one is about taking a moment inertia of this shape, which is the I beam. And if you look at the I beam, it has the dimension on top is 300 millimeter wide. The uh, both the flange and the web it's a 20 millimeter thick. And then uh, the height of the I beam will be uh, 400 uh, millimeter. And we want to find a moment inertia <clears throat> about the centroid of this I beam, which is located right in the center here. So we want to find moment inertia of I x. As we talked about in class, every shape has its own moment inertia. If you look at the back of the book in Appendix B, you find for various shapes the moment inertia. And this I beam is made of all three rectangular segment. This is rectangular, rectangular, and rectangular. And the Ix uh, for rectangular is normally y, Ix is equal in the x direction, 1 12th b h cube. b be the width, h will be the height. And that's if you take the moment inertia about the centroid of the shape itself. But if you want to take a moment inertia about the, away from the centroid, what I mean by that, say if I want to take a moment inertia of this segment right here, but it has to be about uh, uh, this centroid. This shape, this segment by itself, the bottom part, has cent centroid right here at this point. And, but if I want to take a moment inertia about this point here, therefore the formula will change. It will become Ix equal, which is the Ix prime, what's above, plus area times d squared. Now for x, ix, d will be in a y direction. That means the distance between the centroid of the first shape and the second shape in a y direction. So let's just do, do this problem, calculate ix. Um, okay, one way we can, there's two different ways we can solve this. We can say, okay, I got three segments, three shapes, shape one, shape two, shape three. Shape one and three, these two here, basically are symmetric and similar. So you call this one and one prime and call this shape two. That's one way you can do it. Or the easiest way would be say, why not just take this whole thing as one big block and then take out these two chunk right here. And I don't have to use this formula because the centroid will be in the center. Therefore, my distance in the y direction it will be zero. All right, let's do that. Ix is equal, so this whole block right here, it will be basically this big block right here, and it's 300 by 400, and it centers the center right here. So it's going to be Ix is equal 112. Uh, 300, again, bh cube, and your h will be 400 cube minus. Now let's take out this two empty space right here. So that'd be like, uh, it'd be something like this. Taking this segment out on both sides. Okay. And notice the central for this is right here, and central for this is right here. So the distance dy in a y direction between all these three is zero. Okay. Then we say, okay, that's minus, minus two time. All right, uh, we have this two shape. We've got to find the dimension of this shape here. Well, if this is uh, 150 up to this centroid, and then this is 20, take 10 out, so this will be 140 right here. So that gives me 140. And from here to here will be 200, and uh, that's 200, that's 400. 400 and take 20 out and take 20 out, that become three. 60. 
Okay, so it's one, there's two of them, this one and that one. So two times 112. All right, my B is going to be 140. And my H is going to be 360 cubed. Therefore, I x is equal for that shape. I think I calculated that already. Five eleven point three six time five eleven point three six by ten by power six millimeter quadric. So there's my IX. Okay. Let's find IY in Y direction. For IY direction, just let's use the three segment. This, you have two on top, one on the bottom. And if we say, call this shape one, this right here, shape one. And they're similar, so call both these two shape one. And the one in the middle, call them shape two. And we combine them. So IY is equal. Now we talked about IY. IY will be uh, 112 B cube H. And then if you had to go away from the distance, would be uh, plus A. Well, that'd be for, for the rectangular shape, or IY could be IY prime plus A time D square, but your D is going to be at the X, at the X uh, direction. Um, so we go shape one, there's two of them, they're symmetric. We go there's two shape, and now remember, <clears throat> if we use, we're going to use this formula, A equals DX squared, because the centroid of all of them, they line up in the same line, so the distance in the X direction is really zero. You notice it's in the same line. Okay, so we can say IY is equal to two of those shape, and they are uh, 300, so it's 112 times 300 cubed. Uh, it'd be B cubed, yeah? And time H, and H is 20 for each shape. All right, plus, now we're going to do shape two, and shape two will be right in the middle. So it's 112. Okay, my B is 20, so that's 20 cubed, plus your H is going to be 360. All right, so the answer comes out to, okay. Nine point two, ninety point two, <clears throat> ninety point two by ten by power six millimeter cubic quadric. All right, that's how we do it. Let me step aside so you can see the whole thing. Done.